In this video, I'll show you how to integrate a custom GPT into your website. In my previous video, we built a custom GPT using a GPT builder. If you haven't watched it yet, I recommend watching that first. But by the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how to add a custom GPT to any website. I'm going to show you two methods for this integration. The first one requires no code at all. The second one is a bit more advanced, but you don't need any technical background. I will provide you with a step-by-step -step tutorial. All you need to do is copy and paste exactly what I show you on the screen and all the necessary templates will be provided in the video description. Before diving into the tutorial itself, it is important to understand the difference between GPTs and Assistant's API. While they are fundamentally the same, their intended applications are different. GPTs are designed as B2C or business-to-consumer products suitable for consumer-facing applications. They allow you to create a GPT with custom instructions, custom knowledge base, usually for personal use within ChatGPT. On the other hand, the Assistance API is B2B, business to business, aimed at business-facing applications. It also has the same custom instructions and knowledge base, but it can operate programmatically, meaning you can build a code to call this assistance via API. This enables its integration into various applications, websites, or whatever it is that you build. And this is what we are going to do. We will use a code which will create the assistant, then we'll connect it to a chatbot builder, and then we'll put it onto a website. Of course, there are many startups that have already built all that integration, and for a subscription fee, they offer a user-friendly interface where you can add your custom instructions and knowledge base and add your GPT to a website with a few clicks. As an example, I'll show you chatbase.co, which you can access using the link in the description below. For this tutorial, I'll use this sample website. And my goal is to add a customer support chatbot, which would be trained on my knowledge base and connected to a GPT model. So once you've signed up, you can click the new chatbot button. And the first thing to do is to add your knowledge base files. Just drag and drop and click create chatbot. And that's it, the chatbot is created. It is trained on the file I just attached and it is connected to a GPT model. Now I can customize it and then add it to my website. So I go to settings, model, and here, just as you add custom instructions in a GPT builder, this is a window where you can add your custom instructions as well. There is a default one, which you can leave, but I'm going to replace it. I have it prepared, so I'll just paste it, okay? Here you can see the GPT model that is being used. On a paid plan, you can select GPT-4 Turbo, but with the free trial, there is only GPT-3.5 Turbo available, so I just click Save. When you go to Sources tab, an interesting feature here is that apart from adding files with knowledge, you can also just add your website URL and it will crawl all the links to gather the knowledge from your website directly. So it might be very convenient in some cases, but in my example, I will just use the knowledge document that I uploaded in the beginning and we have now customized our knowledge base and instructions. If you go to settings and then chat interface, you can modify the appearance of the chatbot on your website. So you can edit the initial messages, you can change the theme, and you can upload the chatbot profile picture, add a display name, and so on. Once you're happy with your chatbot's design, let's click um, embed on site and then make public. All we need to do now is copy the script and paste it into our website's code. So I'm just scrolling down to this section with scripts, paste that piece of code and save. Now, when I go back to that sample website, the chatbot icon has appeared. Uh, let's ask it a question to see how it works. What are your membership options? And it provides us with a piece of information contained in that knowledge file that I added at the beginning. That's it, our goal is achieved, right? Chatbot is there, it is working, it is connected to a GPT model. Obviously, there are some disadvantages to using third-party services like this one. First, there is the cost factor. You have to pay their fees because they need to generate revenue. Second, there is a lack of flexibility comparing to using your own code. They decide which GPT model is available to you and also, you cannot perform any advanced, interesting actions with that Assistant API because you simply don't have direct access to it. So now, let's go through the second method. Creating an Assistant API directly on the OpenAI platform, connecting it to a chatbot, and then integrating it into a website. Our goal remains exactly the same. We are going to build a custom knowledge-based chatbot that serves as a customer support assistant on our 
sample website. This process involves two main components, the backend and the frontend. For the backend, we'll use Rapid, which will host the code that implements our chatbot's functionality. For the frontend, we'll use VoiceFlow to design and build the chatbot's interface. We will then link Rapid, our backend, with VoiceFlow, our frontend, allowing them to communicate with each other through API calls. I understand that terms like frontend, backend, and API calls sound a bit technical, but there is absolutely nothing to worry about. You'll simply have to copy and paste what I demonstrate, and there is no need for you to write a single line of code. To get started, you need to sign up for Applet and copy the code provided in the video description. I also want to give credit to Liam Otley, the guy who actually built the code and shared it with the community. It is very much appreciated. So, in order to duplicate that code, you need to click fork right here, give it a name and click fork REPL. Here's the code. It will create a new assistant or load an existing one. It will start conversation threads, generate response, and so on and so forth. If you are interested in understanding how this code is constructed, here's an idea. Copy the whole code and paste it into ChatGPT and just ask for an explanation. This is an excellent way to learn if, if that's your goal. But if you just want to use it to add a custom GPT to your website, the only thing you actually need to change, as always, is custom instructions plus knowledge. So custom instructions are this part. You can delete it and type your own instructions. And the knowledge document is here on the left-hand side. The same thing, you can delete this sample and paste your own text. One more thing you need to do here is add your OpenAI secret key. To do so, go to platform.openai.com. If you think of ChatGPT as a customer-facing OpenAI product, this platform is business-facing. It is specifically designed for developers. First, go to settings, then billing and add some credits to your balance. Otherwise, you won't be able to use GPT-4 Turbo model. You still have to pay for using OpenAI's Assistant API, but doing that directly would be much cheaper than using third-party solutions as we did in the first method. After adding some credit balance, go to API keys and click Create New Secret Key. Give it a name and click Create. Now, copy your secret API key, go back to Replit, paste it here as a value, and click Add Secret. That's it, our backend is set up. Now, each time you run this code, it will first check if an assistant JSON file exists. If not, it will create one. So, the first time you run the code, the assistant will be created, and for all subsequent runs, the code will use the existing assistant. So if you go back to the OpenAI platform, you'll notice that you have a new assistant created using those custom instructions from our code and that knowledge document that we have in our Replit. Okay, the second part is setting up VoiceFlow. This is our front-end, our chatbot builder. In the video description, you'll find a template file which you can upload directly to VoiceFlow. Once done, the only thing you need to change here is adding your Replit URL to enable the communication between the code in Replit and VoiceFlow. So just click on this create thread box and paste your URL. To find your URL, go back to Replit, click new tab and copy this URL from the new tab. Paste it in VoiceFlow and make sure in the end it has slash start. Then click on this generate response box, paste the same URL, but this time instead of slash start, make sure it is ending with slash chat. All right, that's it. You can run a test to see how it works. Let's ask it, when are your opening hours? And while it is working, you can track what's going on here in the Replit console. So if anything is broken, you'll be able to see it here. Our chatbot replied correctly. Neo James opening hours are Monday to Friday from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. exactly as it was stipulated in our knowledge file. And the last thing to do is adding this chatbot to our site, right? So let's click publish, give it a name, publish, and now we can embed widget. So similarly as in the first method with chatbase, we have this script which we need to copy and paste into the code of our website. You can also modify the appearance here. I have already added some colors, assistant image, assistant avatar, but you can change them as you like. So this is our site. It is clean, no chatbots here yet. Let's go to the code of the website itself. And here below other scripts, I will paste our voice flow script. Save it. 
and let's reload our site. Now our widget is displayed in the corner here. Uh, well, I've picked the worst possible color, I think, but it's okay, let's just test how it works. What are your membership um, options? And here you go, it's named all the membership options included in our knowledge file. It works well, let's just change the colors in voice flow and make it a bit more appealing. All right, I think black uh, would be better, okay. Just reload the site again, and here you go. Now the chatbot icon and the layout are in black. Seems much better to me. All right, I hope you found this guide helpful. Six months ago in my video on how to start a business using AI tools, I already discussed how much time and money you can save with AI. And if you think about it, just a year ago, most businesses relied on customer support teams composed of real people answering these basic queries, but now, most of these inquiries can be efficiently and easily handled by such an AI assistant that is trained with your custom knowledge base and powered by a GPT model. So hopefully you've already started leveraging AI in your business. This is just one of many possible applications of AI in both business and personal life. So I will continue to learn and share that knowledge with the community. Stay tuned, please subscribe, and I'll see you soon in the next video.